Monique, it's Gordy Cox. I need you to come out tonight to the club. None of the other girls will work it out. They just don't got it. Yeah, 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 I'll be there. I've got a new hit. I'm going to drive the boys crazy. Really? What's it called? Punch My Kitty. Even at the age of 10, I think I knew I could see some spark of what it is that made him him, which is the same energy that you yourself embody. Um, it's kind of like the zeitgeist of, of the, the street, the club kids, uh, the energy of what's now, what's happening in the scene, and you're just being you, and you're just kind of like expressing everything that's around. It's great. You know, I don't even know what his sign is. Do you know He's a Gemini. Is? He's a Gemini, oh, like no. you. Yeah, <laughs> two Geminis. Is he a May Gemini or a June Gemini? He's a June Gemini, I believe. Okay. I think it's June wow. 12th, if I remember correctly. I, I, I kind of thought he might be. But... Mm-hmm. Monique, mm -hmm. I have yeah. a question for you. I've been so fascinated by our conversation that we had about spirituality. You were describing some things and that just fascinated me. Oh, the prayer. But then yes. We were talking about um, if you ever got panic, anxiety, or a feeling of... Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, and I actually would love if you could say that kind of slowly because I, I wanted to hear all of those words, and it's such a beautiful prayer that... Um, yes, it's my, I call it my uh, light prayer. It's uh, whenever I'm feeling um, an ominous presence on me, whether it's, it, it's maybe just plain old anxiety, mm -hmm. depression, or worry, or even just um, lying in bed and feeling um, an evil spirit near you or on your body, I always uh, say to myself this prayer, the light of God surrounds me, the love of God involves me, the presence of God watches over me, and the power of God protects me. Wherever I am, God is. I love that. Wow. It gives me strength. Wow. Well, yes, that's the most beautiful affirmation, prayer. Um, right, it's an yeah, affirmation, and, and I like to look into a light. But, you know, if I'm in complete darkness, obviously I, I can't have that light. But, I, but I that's the light within. That's the exactly. light within. It's the light within I envision. Mm -hmm. Right, right. That's so amazing. I'm, I'm okay, going to transcribe that and put it up on, on the site. And this is what I mean about Monique being more than, than just the sum of parts. This is a woman who is extremely grounded and spiritual. Mm -hmm. That's why we love her, because she's so real and not a, a fake in any way. She, this is a real woman. <laughs> no, I yeah. see that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so nice to hear. A goddess. And I don't think we can even say anything. More. I mean, we really, that is, that's going to, oh, there's one one thing I did want to ask you. Yes. If you were on death row and you had your last meal, what would it be? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go Taco Bell or should I go Gourmet? <laughs> well, it's your last meal. I think they only <laughs> give you 20 bucks. Oh, well, no, I don't think, I think they have to make it within the, the place, so it probably wouldn't be that Gourmet. Yeah. <laughs> but, but this is a fantasy, believe, this is a I fantasy. Believe, you can order yes. from anywhere in the world. And I believe also, because I work within the prison system, I believe... Uh, the last one and you're on death row, I believe they can order out for you. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But you know what? Like you said, and the, the state's in such dire straits, believe me, I know. The <laughs> state budget is so bad, they might only uh, only offer a certain amount. But you know what? They could ask you, you know, they can take money from your um, your deposit or whatever. Right, right. but they're not going to go out of their way in reality. <laughs> in reality, no. In reality, no. no. No, they're not you going know, to. I don't know. Uh, probably, um, 
Everything on the uh, menu from Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a judge this right here. I hate the people's tranny. The people's tranny. <laughs> so <laughs> well, what's not to love? It's it's got everything in there that makes you basically you know, we've got we've got Jay the Juice Man Cardich coming on the show and oh, I've been yeah. feeling so dirty. Oh. <laughs> we'll ask him about his uh the juice the uh, juice of life. I have his uh, juicer. When I got married to You have my, his juicer? Oh, oh he's yes. going to love that when we tell him. Yes. Tell him it was a present in 1992 from, it was a wedding present my mother gave me. And it was his, one of his first t- prototypes, one of the first ones. And it was like, so expensive. It was like two hundred dollars back then. Wow! I think and it's only ninety nine now. I know now. Now it's ninety nine dollars, but this was nineteen ninety two, and uh, I have the juicer. Wow! You still have it? I still have it. Is and it the still problem is, It still does, and my problem is I just I put it away in storage. And <laughs> 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 well, hey, face it. We all do. I I've, I've been on a coffee binge. From you know the last year, the last year, and it's not that good. So I've been feeling all dirty, and I know that he's going to influence me to do better, and he's going to do. Yeah, he asked about his uh, his life drink. It's his number one, and I believe when he was a kid or in college or something, he was very sick, and he nursed himself back to health by juicing carrots and apples. Mhm. Mhm. Oh wow. And okay. uh, that was my favorite thing. I would, I would get. Is carrots. that half and half? I believe he'll have to give you the rest. Okay. Yeah. I had, I had the um, the little cookbook or the little instructional book that came with it. I, I think. And I'm did you try that? Oh, I used to drink it all the time. I love it. Well, maybe after he comes on our show, he'll inspire us all because I really feel that as as a result of the people that we've been meeting, are we're being changed. It's kind of like we say with the love affair, um, it'll change you forever. Right. Um, every person is going to change us forever. I already feel changed by Monique. Oh, I do too. Definitely. Well, if you try his carrot and apple juice, it's amazing. I'm, I'm, go- I'm going to have to. I know I am. I can't ask him what he calls it. I think he calls it his life, life juice or something. That was his. That's what um, his first drink, which um, this is his signature drink. I'm going to have to try it. Yes, it's very good. Um, the carrots are so good, and the the apples add, you know, a sweetness to it. Mm. And you can drink every any vegetable and fruit except for I believe a banana. Yeah, there's not enough moisture. Yeah. Uh, when I used to take bursitis, I would put the um oh what is that? The root of a some little vegetable. Dandelion? No, it's like a ginger. A potato. Burdock. Potato root. Dicon. <laughs> Nikon root. Something like that, and it's very good for your sinuses. I, you could put it into your um, into any drink, and it would just really help with that. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Monique, well, do you want to tell us about yeah. your um, your documentary that's coming up? Oh yes, I have. Um, in fact, I got another email today from uh, Yolanda. The, one of the um, film crew, she's Greek, and her boyfriend's Italian. Her boyfriend is uh, Giulio. He is the um, director. And they live in London. And there is a trailer out right now. You can Google it, Veil of Invisibility. Yes, I saw and that. Pardon? I saw that. It's very well done. The, the trailers. Yeah, it's uh, a, a look into uh, 
transgender's life, 